Welcome to Dark Horse Workshop, everybody. Today, we're doing a Turkish quiver. If you like shooting arrows or pretending you're somebody who likes to shoot arrows, this video is for you. Remember, as always, you can pick up the pattern and artwork for all my projects on my website, link in the description down below. You can also pick up the same pattern and artwork on the month it's released on my Patreon. So have a look at that. So you can obviously use Chrome Tan or Vegetan. Both of those will work fine for this. Just depends if you want to dye your project. I've used Chrome Tan and Vegetan in this because I wanted to do some carving. If I'm not carving, I don't really use Vegetan, so that's just how I operate. Now the welt of this pouch, which is the pieces of leather that give it space so you can put your arrows in it, which is important because that's what it's for, is about 13 ounces. I have lots of videos on leather carving. If that's something that you're interested in, I'll put a link right here for you to have a look. Remember that I primarily build for film and YouTube. That's about it. So if you're looking to purchase a quiver like this, this single one-off quiver will be available on my website. So go have a look. After I've dyed my project, I like to make sure I hit it with some oil, let that soak in, and then wipe off any excess before I hit it with my resist, antique, and finish. You know, that was probably just a little too much antique. I just want to take a moment to remind everyone about the steel that is my Patreon. For example, this month, patrons so far have received two pouch patterns, a Viking art pack, as well as this quiver pattern, all for just 15 bucks. Be sure to take a look over at patreon.com slash darkhorseworkshop. Now this right here is the welt or spacer that goes in between your main body of your pouch to give it some space for your arrows. I am skiving down the two ends because it's tapering from three layers of leather where the spacer is, down to two where it's not, because you want it to change thicknesses gradually instead of suddenly. I've left the beveling on my project until the very end for the most part, except for those uh, carved layers, because I wasn't sure if I needed to sand anything down, I would just have to bevel it again. Obviously some parts don't need to be beveled at all, like your welt doesn't need to be beveled because it's going to sit flush with the rest of your quiver. A little bit of tokenol, some burnishing, rinse and repeat. Perfect. I'm going to put another video right up there for you guys. Make sure you check it out. Obviously hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for future videos and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my content. And until next time, keep on being creative in whatever it is you do. Do, 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 do,